A Christian church under attack, one of several destroyed in central Java on Tuesday by an anti-Christian mob. It all started after a local court handed down a five-year jail sentence to a Christian man accused of blasphemy against Islam. Muslim protesters wanted a harsher penalty. Anger is building once again against minority religions in Muslim-dominated Indonesia, and Christians aren't the only target. This was a scene on Sunday outside the home of an Ahmadiyya sect preacher in Java's Banten province. A mob of more than a thousand, some wielding knives, sticks and rocks, barged past police and raided his home. Three Ahmadiyya were killed and six injured. The brutal attack was captured on mobile phone and the video handed a human rights watch. This footage has triggered outrage among Indonesia's moderates. Ahmadiyya Muslim minority followers are reviled by many Muslims because they believe Muhammad is not the last prophet. Indonesia's 200,000 Ahmadiyya live in fear. In many places, our Ahmadi friends can no longer safely pray and continue their daily lives. They live in fear. Some can't go back to their homes. Police say they couldn't stop this radical group. The Islamic Defenders Front and their sweeping operation against the Ahmadiyya in West Java on Wednesday. President Susilo Bambang Yudhoyono condemned the attacks on national television, his strongest statement so far on the issue. He said, those groups proven to have violated the law, engaged in violence and caused unrest, if they need to be dissolved, then ways should be sought to do so in line with the law and democracy. But human rights groups say the government is not doing enough. One group recorded 261 attacks against Indonesia's minority religious followers last year, up more than 20% on 2009. The government is fair to protect the citizens, their citizens. And then the government didn't take this issue seriously. Uh, we are new uh, in Indonesia. Islam is a one of political resources. If you want to get power, uh, you need support from the Muslims as a political constituents. Yeah. Indonesia has several laws and government decrees that help curtail religious freedom, like the 2008 decree that prohibits the Ahmadiyya sect from spreading its beliefs. Some legislators want the government to revise or revoke them. For now, the Ahmadiyya and other minority religious groups are hoping and praying that they won't have to bury any more loved ones. Christy Lustout, CNN.